Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's take a look at Apple's new connection port, Thunderbolt. So Thunderbolt is a new port that's found on all of the new MacBook Pros. And you can bet that it will be on all the Macs soon. It looks just like the mini DisplayPort connection. As a matter of fact, it actually works as a mini DisplayPort connection on this MacBook Pro. So you can take an existing monitor and plug it right into the Thunderbolt port and it will work just like the mini DisplayPort connection did in previous versions. In fact, you can also use adapters like a mini DisplayPort to VGA or to HDMI adapter and hook up other displays to it. So it works just like a mini DisplayPort for those purposes. But you can also use it to connect storage like hard drives. And Thunderbolt is very fast. It's much faster than say USB 2 or Firewire or even USB 3 that appears on some PCs. Here's a chart that Apple has that compares all the different speeds. Thunderbolt can handle two streams of 10 gigabytes per second each. So you can transfer things from hard drives very quickly. You can also use them for video in and video out. And in the future we may see Thunderbolt used for other things like certain specialized network connections for instance. So the reason Thunderbolt is so fast is because inside your computer the different parts communicate using something called PCI Express. But with a peripheral say using USB 2 or Firewire, the USB 2 or Firewire bus then has to communicate with the PCI Express bus inside your computer. But Thunderbolt is PCI Express, so devices can talk directly to the parts inside your computer. If you have a Mac Pro, you can put a PCI Express card in it to talk directly to your computer. But with Thunderbolt, you don't actually have to insert a card. You can actually hook something up using the Thunderbolt connection. So this means that the MacBook Pros and soon all Macs will be able to be expanded in the same way that you could a Mac Pro. You just have to use a Thunderbolt device rather than a PCI Express card. So here's some cool things about Thunderbolt. It's a single port on your Mac, but that single port can take up to six devices. The devices will daisy chain with each other. So it's important, for instance, if you get a hard drive that uses Thunderbolt, that it has two Thunderbolt ports on it. One to attach from your Mac to the device and the next to go to the next device, another hard drive or say a display or a video capture device. So while the name Thunderbolt is new, this has actually been talked about for a while as Intel's Light Peak technology. And in fact, even though the cables now are using copper wires, in the future you'll be able to get fiber optic wires and they will work with the Thunderbolt connections in today's MacBook Pros. The advantage to fiber optic might mean longer cables. Right now the copper cables are kind of restricted in distance. You probably won't see any that are greater than 10 feet. So they're for peripherals that are actually right next to your Mac, not for something to communicate with over a long distance. Another cool thing about Thunderbolt is you actually can hook Firewire and USB devices through Thunderbolt. So in the future there will be adapters so you can add a USB device or a Firewire device to your Thunderbolt daisy chain. Now the speeds aren't going to be improved. They'll still be USB or Firewire speeds, but there is the possibility in the future we could simply have all Thunderbolt connections and any older devices will simply work through adapters. Now even though we have Thunderbolt on the new MacBook Pros, there's really nothing except the current displays that will hook up to them. But Let's See has announced something called the Little Big Disk which is a Thunderbolt hard drive. It actually is going to have SSDs on board so that it can transfer data very quickly. And also Pegasus has announced at some point they'll come out with a RAID array for Thunderbolt. And I'm sure a year from now we're going to have all sorts of hard drives, RAID arrays, and video devices that will hook up to Thunderbolt. So some things you may be wondering about. Like for instance, since you can hook up to six devices through Thunderbolt, does that mean you can hook up a whole bunch of monitors to your MacBook Pro? Well, no. That's a limitation of the video chipset. The current chipset inside the MacBook Pro support the attached screen and one additional one. Thunderbolt won't get you any extras. But it's possible in the future the chipsets may support more than one monitor through Thunderbolt. You can actually boot your Mac in target disk mode and use the Thunderbolt port to access the data on your drive. But for some reason Migration Assistant doesn't support this yet, so I hope to see an update for that in the future. And right now it's unclear whether or not you can actually boot from a drive connected through Thunderbolt. 
So looking into the future, even though FireWire ports are on the new MacBook Pros, I see them as being completely replaced by Thunderbolt, especially since you can still connect FireWire devices using an adapter into Thunderbolt. But looking at the iPad and the iPod Touch and the iPhone, I don't see Thunderbolt going there. The reason is, is because those devices don't have PCI Express. So there's nothing really for Thunderbolt to communicate with. It also appears that there won't be any expansion cards for current Mac Pros to add Thunderbolt. This is probably because there's some sort of difference between how the motherboard needs to be set up to use Thunderbolt. So there's a quick look at Thunderbolt. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.